And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Detroit Tigers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. It's been a heck of a series so far, Siggy, and you have to figure that will only continue here in Game 6. You know, Boog, some of the greatest games in baseball history have been a Game 6, so I'm fired up for this one. And clearly, being at home with a 3-2 lead in the series is a huge advantage, but it's far from a guarantee. They've still got to go out there, handle their business, and not let this get to a Game 7. And the odds are obviously against any team trying to win a game six and game seven on the road. But it does happen. They don't consider this series over by any means. And we'll be first pitch right after this. Just about set. So here's the lefty, Patrick Sandoval. What do you look for here? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he that utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Sam Hillier, the next to hit. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Next pitch is outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The 2 1. Lifted in the air, right center field. He's got it, and that'll do it. Diamondback strand a pair. Willie Castro up now for the Tigers. He's 0 for 1. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. To third, Raymond handles the chance. Tosses across the first, out number three. Tigers fail to make any noise, but they hold a one nothing lead. Gerald Raymond digs in now, and he's already singled in this game. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Hey, see and drive it, huh? On the ground. Torkelson picks it up and he handles it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball. Now, here is Rymel Tapia. One for two. Kicks and fires. Down the left field line. Should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Oh, here we are, third time. So one out, nobody on. Here's the cleanup hitter for the now Diamondbacks, man. Gerald Raymond. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Oh, baby, get your pitch up there. And first offering is fouled off. Come on, big guy, one time. Here we go. The tying run at the plate. Strike two. Oh, oh, Trying to break. keep good speed off the bases. Hey, make it yours. And he deals. That one ripped. Get out of here, Get out of here. And it's off the wall. He's in there. 
He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Sam Hilliard will hit next. Up next to the Diamondback, the center fielder, Sam. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Huge strikeout there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the Diamond. offensive side of the game, right? I mean, fielder. missed opportunity Eddie. to tie it up with the runner at third Whoa. and one out, Mario. couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Here's Eddie Rosario. That one fouled off with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. 2-2 two -two now. And that one wrapped foul. Come on, big dog, get your pitch. In the air, right field. Judge is under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. One left for the Diamondbacks. They trail here, one nothing. Now up next for Arizona, Gerald Raymond. Up he's not going to get man. cheated up there. The no, he's not. Man. He's looking to do damage Gerald. with every swing he takes. Hey, get your pick. No one better up there. Hey, your turn right there. He's on the rope. Let's go. Drive him in. <laughs> Hey, your turn now. Your turn. Drive him in. Clutch up for us, baby. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. The Rockets won to right, and the Diamondbacks are World Series champions. Wow, wow, wow. What a moment. It'll go down as one of the greatest ever in baseball history. World Series walk-off. What else could you hope for? Such a special series and a heroic moment to end it. Welcome back on the show as we see some of the final moments and reactions in this World Series clinching game.
And now let's go down on the field where they're set to present the commissioner's trophy to the World Series champs. For Chris Singleton and our outstanding crew, I'm John Chomby. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show.